It's one of those times when you sort of like, you have to see food through the eyes of the, the locals and the way they talk about bluefish. And this stew was just simply um, made by Mesut, who was the, the fisherman who I went out to, to catch the bluefish with. But it wasn't any old fishing trip. It was right in the middle of the Bosphorus, which is, as you know, that stripper between Asia and <laughs> Europe, with so much shipping going through there, and we're in this tiny little boat right in the middle of the lanes. So you've got bloody great tankers going either way, and the photography is fantastic because the cameraman was like a long way away with a telephoto lens. It looks like we're just about to be split in half, you know. And we went back to this little fishing harbour just on the edge of the Bosphorus and there was him and his mates you know just hanging down there like they probably get up go down there just as if they're going to work and he made this uh, fish stew which was just tomato onion a bit of lemon and chilies and parsley uh, and just boiled up these blue fish you know sometimes you think fish stews are a bit bland but this one was so great because it just worked with that lovely oily fresh blue fish great I think probably it's their most popular vegetable and not only do they split them and stuff them but they make that fantastic baba ganoush but their split aubergine is, is, is basically aubergine you know cooked and taken out mixed with minced lamb and the typical flavours of turkey so you've got like little globules of chilli I think that dish is like turkey on a plate yeah. But that, as a Met say, is really where it's at. They use grains in salads, and frika is like a green wheat, so it's, it's sort of harvested before the wheat turns golden, and then they dry it. So it's got this lovely pale green, and then you just bring it to the boil and, and cook it very quickly. But again, it's, it's a sort of salad that's mixed with sort of essential turkey ingredients, a bit of the, the Turkish pepper and pomegranate seeds and tomato and red onions and garlic and parsley. You just build up this sort of lovely feast of colour. I think it's one of those dishes which will we, we'll really catch on somewhere like Australia. You know? Well, I mean, that's a sort of classic um, Venetian dish really um, and it's sort of the sort of pasta dish which everybody loves. Basically it's just olive oil, garlic and tomato cooked very gently for you know hours. A mixture of about seven spices, notably nutmeg, coriander, uh, cloves, cinnamon, tiny bit of chilli, turmeric, maybe a couple of others, made into this spice mix and just a pinch in a dish like that and suddenly you're sort of not quite in Italy you're somewhere heading east and, and very very noticeable in lots of Venetian seafood dishes <laughs>